is the first that is the first um, that is last week's um, topic. And in the first week we uh, we talked about no other God. Today we're going to talk about no other power. And it's a big Isang metro lang po ang haba ng isang, ng isang ako. 
very bomb. It's just a it's just a little tiny bomb. But you know the effect of it, my dear brothers and sisters? The effect of it, it can actually destroy a whole city. Amen. It can even destroy a whole country. The last time I was in Japan in in World War II, when they were um, when they were bombed by the Americans, na kita yung mga talaga ang grabe ang resulta ng bomba na ito. Hindi lamang po for that particular day when the bomb was uh, was uh, dropped from uh, from the from the plane until the land. Pero po ang effect po nito kahit po sa tao, kahit po yung napakalayo po yung sa uh, yung sa lugar, yung sa anti-dropping bomb, you will still see the effect in your health. Alam niyo po ang strength ng Panginoon ay ay higit pa sa isang atomic bomb. That even if the bomb, the, the power was given or the, the power was displayed on the cross 2,000 years ago, the effects it, um, it still remains. Even, hindi po ibig sabihin na ang Panginoon Diyos ay hindi na natin kasama physically. The power is not there anymore. Kasi may mga religion, hindi na sila naniniwala na may healing. Hindi na sila naniniwala na may blessing. Hindi na sila naniniwala na may increase na mamayari sa kanilang buhay. Because they thought that Jesus Christ will be doing it on the second coming. But you know, I would like to tell you today that as long as Jesus is in your heart, the power lies in you. Amen. Amen. Hindi ko ito nawawala. Amen. The effect of it, even if it's 2,000 years ago, remains until this day. Amen. The next um, the next translation of power in Hebrew, it says it's actually kratos. Ang kratos po, malalaman po natin ang meaning ng word na kratos sa Ephesians 1, 18-21. Sabi po doon, I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which He has called you, the riches of His glorious inheritance in the same, and His incomparably great power for us who believe. Amen. That power is like the working of His mighty, mighty strength, which He exerted in Christ when He raised Him from the dead and seated Him at the right hand
Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So what is the reality of God's power? Amen. Ano po ba ang realidad ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos? What is the reality of God's power in us? Para po makita natin kung ano ba talaga ang ano ba talaga ang kapangyarihan na meron ka sa iyong buhay? Kailangan natin makita kung ano ba talaga yung realidad ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Amen. So first, what's the reality of God's power? That power uh, for us, the, the, the power for us to believe. Amen. Uh, last time, next, last time. Amen. Power for us to believe. Amen. Ito po ay kapangyarihan sa ating mga naniniwala. Amen. Sa taas po dito ang kamay ng mga naniniwala sa ating. Amen. Hindi niyo ako ginijoke tayo mga baka naman tataas na kayo ng kamay dahil simpya taas ko kayo ng kamay ha? Amen? You know what? Ang faith po, uh, ang faith po, ang paniniwala, naglalay po, nag-work po yan sa ating mga salita. Hindi po dahil sa, for example, yung pagkataas po natin ng kamay niyo, hindi po sa dahil I ask you to raise your hand, it will work. Faith is not, um, it's not, it's not forceful. Hindi po namin, hindi po, hindi po dahil ako po ay, ako po ang nasa, nasa stage na yun. It's not because I am here, I will force you to have faith in the Lord. Kailangan po sa mismo sa ninyo, manang palatayang ay patpaniwala na may gagawin ang Diyos sa inyo. Amen. Amen. Because, you know what? The more that you anticipate and that is faith, the more that God participates. So, hindi ko po yun, the more that you anticipate, the more that God participates. Amen. Ibig sabihin, yung anticipation natin, pagdating sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos, kapag naniniwala ka talaga na may gagawin siya sa buhay ko, the more that God will participate with you. Kasi nakita niya, ay, ang laki ng pananang para tayo ng tao to. That, that, uh, Because there 
is reconciliation in Christ. Alam niyo po, if you are anticipating right like that, if you are imagining yourself like that, if you are putting your faith and trust to the Lord like that, the more that God will participate on what you are believing. Amen? Siya lang naman ang may kahit gumawa ng imposible. Amen? Amen? Kagaya ng, uh, kagaya po ng, uh, kagaya ng, for example, you are believing that you will be promoted, that you will be, uh, that you will be, that you will be, uh, you will have an increase in your job. But the thing is that, ang pinag-aralan mo, ganito lang. Ang pinag-aralan mo, ah, hindi ka natatapos ang college. Hindi, hindi mo man lang, ah, na, natapos yung four-year course, ang dalawang taon, ang dalawang taon ka lang. Alam niyo po, kahit na wala kang pinag-aralan, kahit na, hindi ko lang sinasabi na wala kang pinag-aralan, Bakal. Pero what I'm saying here is that kahit na limitado lang ang resources ng knowledge na meron ka, God can do something immeasurable in your life. Just believe. When you are not at the government ang Diyos sa buhay ko, isang bagay na kung saan kasiyasaya at pinagpala ng lubos ng Panginoon. Amen? Kagaya po ng Panginoong Isu Cristo, When they, when, when, when they, when he was preaching, and there are five thousand men that joined them in in this preaching. Sinabi ng mga apostol sa kanya, Lord, we have five thousand men right now, and we cannot send them away just for them to eat. What can we do for them? Hindi naman po ang pagnono hindi siya nataka o hindi siya natalo sa pagnono ng mga nanggagawa niya. What he did is. He asked for them to find someone that has a bread and a fish. And the disciple brought one. Meron pong kapiraso nung meron pong ilang ka, meron pong tinapay, at may mga kapiraso nung isda. You know what? Hindi po siya, ang Panginoong Hesus Cristo, hindi siya, hindi siya, tumaga, I know that inside of him, he is believing for something miraculous na makita ng kanyang disipulo at makita ng mga taong sa kanyang sinishira ang salita ng Diyos. Gusto niya, gusto niya ipakita sa kanyang mga kapangyarihan talaga ang Panginoon. He believed, uh, he prayed for, hindi po siya, hindi man niya, hindi man niya sinabi kung ano yung pinarang, uh, what he is believing for. Um, he is, I know in his heart, he is anticipated for something miraculous. Ano niyo po ba yung kapiraso ng isda at kapiraso ng tinapay? was fed 5,000 men. Amen? At hindi lang po sila na gusto, at ang kanila gusto pa sila. At there is, there is even 10 basket of leftovers after they feed those 5,000 men. Kapiraso ang isda at kapiraso ang pinakay. It's because of the anticipation. That's, that's why God anticipates. Amen? Ikaw sa buhay mo, you are lacking something. You are lacking love. You are lacking joy. You are lacking finances. You are lacking help. Anticipate on that very moment, on this very moment. Na kahit wala pa, hawak mo na. Hawak mo na ngayon yung pagmamahal na kasawa ko ulit sa akin. Yung reconciliation namin mga kasawa. Ay hawak mo na ngayon yung pagbayad ko sa barko. Yung pagbayad ko sa bahay. Yung plane ticket na may pauwi ng Pilipinas. Hindi mo pahawak, you are anticipating for it, and God will do something great in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Walang pangatulad ng Diyos. Hindi na pangatulad. Pangalawa, what is the reality of God's power? God's power was exerted through Jesus. Amen. Ang power ng Panginoon, hindi po niya ito in-exert like hindi siya iso in-exert in like building a man or building a great government. He exerted it to his own son. Amen? Pinakita niyo po ito sa kanyang mismo anak. Amen? Malalaman po natin kung ano ang kahalagahan na gumawa ko. Basahin mo lang po natin ang John chapter 17, 10 to 12. John 17, 10-12. Sabi po dito, John 17, 10-12. Sabi po, All I have 
is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they will still in they but are but they are still in the world. I am uh, and I am coming to you, Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name that you gave me, so that they may be the one as we are one. Amen. Sabi po doon, you will protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me. Amen. It means that the power lies and was exerted through Jesus. Amen. Ang Panginoon Jesus Christo po, na dinanggap po sa iyong buhay at sa iyong puso, ang mag-exert ng kapangyarihan niya. Not yourself, not your family, not your job, not your, not your, not your dreams. Amen. Kasi minsan, we glorify more ourselves than the Lord. Nag-pray ka ng mga, nag-pray ka ng sampung taon, nag-pray ka ng limang taon. Lord, gusto ko ng kaanak. Lord, gusto ko ng ka-business. Lord, gusto ko ng ka-asawa. Lord, gusto ko ng kotse, ng bahay. Lord, gusto ko ng papakala sa Pilipinas. You are praying for something big in your life. And God, and God gave it to you. And then one day, nakalimutan mo yung Diyos na ang Pilipinas. Why? Because you didn't, you didn't remember the, the, the God that exerted the power, and that is Jesus Christ. Amen? In all the things that you are experiencing in your life, give glory to Him that giving it to you. Amen? Magbili ka ng glory sa Panginoon. Wala ka naman magagawa. This flesh, your mind can only do limited things. Amen? Sabihin mo ka mga Panginoon ka. Kung lawag din ka or whatever, lawag din meron ka. Amen. Kahit ano pa mang, ah, kahit ano pa mang certificate ang meron ka sa bahay mo, limitahan ka pa rin ang kaya mong gawin sa buhay mo, kapatid. But you know what? God is an unlimited God, a miraculous God, a supernatural God, na, na, na akala mo hanggang dyan na lang ang buhay mo, meron pa siyang dating yung mas maganda sa buhay. Amen. You know what? I, there is this one story that I've been reading, um, reading earlier. I'm actually watching earlier. This is a story behind um, with this man that is living in Brooklyn. Ang Brooklyn po parang is London. Is parang siya is London. Talagang magulo po talaga yung place. And this guy right here has been, has been, uh, has been, uh, has been trying to, um, to asked by this pastor to join them in the church. He was asking them, Sabi ka naman, sabi, can you join us in the church? Sabi niya, no, I'm not going. And this man, this ito kung magdalaki ko na ayaw ko sumama sa church, was convicted 60 times. Ano na kung based ako siyang magulong because of violent acts in Brooklyn. Siya po ang laging master man. And you know what? This pastor keeps on coming back to him. Oh, join me naman sa church this time. Church, join me naman sa church. Punta ka naman sa church namin. And it's sabi niya, ako, wala akong oras dyan. Ako, may gagawin na po. Ay, ako, sige, okay lang. Okay lang. Um, next time na lang siguro. And you know what? This pastor keeps on praying and praying and praying. Lord, let your power be certain to him. Para maniwala siya na kailangan niyang kinalanin ka bilang Diyos ang katapagintas. Alam niyo po ba, one night, when this guy, this convicted guy, was, uh, was sleeping, nagulat siya na meron po, walang meron po talagang grabing ilaw sa kanyang, sa kanyang karapan. So, sobrang liwanag po doon ang ilaw na hindi na siya makakita. And he, he, and he, and he, at sino dyan, sino, sino, sino ang nandyan? Sabi ko, may nasalita akong lalaki. I am the Lord, Jesus your Savior. I am here to save you. Nagpakita ko sa kanya ang Panginoon ng Iso Cristo kasi. And you know what? That Sunday, nagulat yung lalaki, nagulat yung pastor na keeps on reminding him to go to the church. Sabi sa kanya, hindi na, hindi na siya inas ng pastor. That Sunday, sinabi sa kanya yung pastor, ay sinabi sa kanya yung convicted guy, Hey, 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 I'm going to join you today. I've seen Jesus in my room. I've seen him last night. Because this guy, life, his life changed 
tremendously. Bilang convicted, died, and now a saved. Amen? Naramdaman ng lalaki ko yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa kanya when he joined the church. And you know what? That is how God will exert His power through Jesus Christ. Kung dati, kung dati na hindi naman buhay mo mo ka sa utang, lagi may problema ka, lagi na maraming kaaway, lagi na lang, ah, lagi na lang kapag ka, ah, lagi na lang inahaway ng mister mo, or lagi na lang ah, may problema sa pamilya mo. If that is your life before, believe that through Jesus Christ, in His name, He will exert His power in your life will change. Amen. Amen. Alam mo, magbabahin mo ang buhay ko sa Panginoon Jesus Christo. If this is your first time joining this church, alam mo, hindi ko kayo nagkamali ng inyong pakaibayong mga buhay ko. Kasi makikita mo sa buhay mo that Jesus Christ will exert His power in your life and your life will change tremendously. You might be sick right now. Your family is encountering so much problem right now. But I believe that Jesus' power will encounter you and will do something miraculous in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Salamat sa Panginoon. And lastly, Jesus' power is far above all good far above all good and authority. Sabi po ng Mark 1, 21-28. Amen? Ang nakadisplay lang po sa screen yung 27-28. But I'm going to read to you from 21-28. Sabi po nito, They went to cover room. And, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught, um, he taught, them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. Uh, not, just, not just as the teachers of the law. Just then a man in their synagogue, who was possessed by an evil spirit, cried out, What do you want with us? Jesus of Nazareth, have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus said, Be quiet. Uh, Jesus, uh, be quiet. Jesus said, I said, Jesus, sternly, come out of him. The evil spirit shook the violent man and came out of him with misery. The people were also amazed that they, um, that they asked each other, what is this? A new teaching and with authority? And he even gives orders to evil spirits and they obeyed him. News about him spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. Ang kapangyarihan po ng ating Panginoong Jesus Christ, ang ating Panginoong Jesus Christ, is for all rules and authority. What do you mean by rules and authority? It is far beyond limitation and rules of man. Amen? Kung ano man po ang isinet ng tao or isinet ng lundong ito, kaya ng gawin ng Panginoon sa iyo supernatural. Amen? Like this guy right here. Like this man, he was possessed by an evil spirit. Amen. Sa medical science po, sa pinigyan nila ay paliyan. Ang pasto ng mental hospital niya, makabuhay yung yung yung. Amen. Isa din, meron silang pinigyan. Hindi nila kaya pagayon yung yung lalaki ito. Even he was, because he was demon possessed, they will say that he is crazy. But you know what? Jesus himself was crossed over through the limitation of man. The crossover siya doon. And he said, and he, and this, and this, and his evil spirit recognized him. Sabi sa kanya, what do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And he yeah. just said, be quiet, come out of him. Amen. In medical science, hindi kaya gawin ng doktor ko tumakapatid ko sa Panginoon. Medical science cannot do this. The doctor cannot tell you, especially if he didn't know about Jesus Christ, he cannot say to you, come out! Come out, sickness! Come out, evil spirit! Sa isang pasyente. Kasi there is rules in medical science that he will have to follow. But you know what? Jesus is far beyond all 
goods and limitations of man. Ang hindi kaya gawin ng siyensya, ang hindi kaya gawin ng barko, ang hindi kaya gawin ng pamilya mo, ang hindi kaya gawin ng pagmamahal na inaasama mo sa puso mo ay kaya gawin ng Panginoon. He is for the unknown in authority. Amen! Do you know what happened to uh, King Hezekiah? I think I've been mentioning this for quite some time. King Hezekiah was um, uh, was uh, was uh, informed by a prophet. You know what King Hezekiah will only live for a few more days. Magubuhay ka nila sa ilang mga araw. Kaya, magkakit ka na. Just pack your things. Um, do your last will and testament. You will die soon. And you know what? King Hezekiah knows that he served the Lord his God faithfully. Nag-pray sa kami, Lord God! I want you to hear me. I have been faithful to you. Na being faithful ako sa iyo. I have served you for the longest time. Lord God, if you will hear me, turn turn the clock. Turn up, uh, turn the sun or turn the sun clockwise. I'll conquer clockwise. Ibig sabihin po kung ang kung ang sun is turning from from east to west or west to east. West to east, east to west, whatever it is. East to west, from east to west. Um, Hezekiah wants to do it from west to east. Just for him to see the sign that he will be healed. You know what? God turned back time. Ginawa niya yung hindi is Hezekiah sa kanya. Because he has a faith. He knows that, Hezekiah knows that God is ruling on authority and limitation of God did. Amen. Ikaw sa buhay mo, kung sinasabi ng Lord sa iyo ang hindi ka nila ng kaya ang gawin, ay sinabi na pa ako sa iyo. At dami mong utak, overdraft ka yung mga utak ng mga. Takpong libo ng overdraft, wala ka ang mga gawas. Kahit sabihin ng araw sa iyo, hindi na ka mahihimisa. Yung mahina ang benta ko. Mahina ang mahina ang sabunan ko yung hindi ka mahihimisa. If that is the, if that is the way that man sets it, don't believe on that God will do something more. Amen. He will cross all limitation. He will cross all every rule. Kaya kaya sinabi ng ako, kaya kaya sinabi ng doktor, kaya kaya sinabi, kaya mismo ng presidente ng Pilipinas o presidente ng tulong ng itong UK. I know for myself that God will do something great in your life. Amen. Kung may problema ka sa visa, kung may problema sa visa, ang pamilya mo, kahit ito na lang sila ng bansa sa'yo, naniniwala ko na may gagawin ang Diyos. Amen. Just believe that God will do something more. Amen. That He is, that His power will work beyond expectations. Amen. There is this one story that I keep on, that I keep on to come back every Sunday. It's all about this church in the States. If you are, if we, we as a church, we are believing for something more. That's what we are believing for something more. Amen. As, 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 a part or, as a part of the body of Christ, we are not going to be in a day, but the church is in a day, so we are going to be in a day, so we are going to be in a day. Yes, we are going to be in a day. Yes. Yes. one place there that caught my attention. Sabi sa sabi ng asawa ko sa akin, alam mo dati ang church yan, may benta ka na lang ng hangkit eh. Alam mo, lagi po ako bumabalik sa church na yun. Kinagawa ka doon po yung Lord sa church. Sabi ko, Lord, amin na doon sa mga Jesus. I am claiming for that place. Amen. And you know what? There is this one church that claimed for the same particular thing. In the States. Bilang church, diba? Diba? Mga parang di matagal ang funds sa akin. Minsan, diba? Or we are just believing that God will do something miraculous. And same thing with them. There is, there, there are big church, without the honesty. 
But they are as financially, they cannot do it. But you know what? There is this one place that caught your attention. Yung isang place mo yun, dati ko, doon nagdala ko ang basketball team, lugar nila. And their and they, when they when their council, their whole city says that we're going to open this place for bidding for interested buyers. So, si usol na yung place, pinagpinagpin ka, ginebenta na yung place. Ginebenta na yung place. Ginebenta na yung place for um for everyone. And they are they they bid for that. Alam mo ba? Na nang parataya sila for quite some time. Sa mga nilitiwala sila na Ako, Lord, magbibigay ka ng funds. God, give it in the funds. Nakapag-loan po sila sa isang banko at nagbigay sa kang nagbigay ang banko sa kanila ng 100 million dollars. So, meron na sila 100 million, bibigay na na yung place. The thing is that, yung peace ng council ayaw sa kanya. Isang bobo na lang sa kanila na yung place. Sa talagang grabe, ayaw, ayaw. Kung yung, kung yung church team niya ang mag-a-acquire ng place na tukong na lang, na event ang place na yan. You know what? There is this one, one day, there, uh, this pastor is preaching to his church and they are, um, they are praying. Um, this, um, meron po isang babae sa kapatang, uh, yung Sister Frida, yung, yung babae na yun. Now, she attended the church for the first time and she was blessed by the word of God that Sunday. And she heard that they are bidding for this, this place in, in the city, kaya nga hindi nila ma-acquire because of this council that, that keeps, on, um, um, keeps on harassing them. And you know what? Accidentally, pero hindi naman po talaga accidentally kasi alam ko yun talaga ang mga pangyong. Itong babae ko, best friend ng council man. <laughs> eh, kaibigan ng palapi. Nung nalaman niya na yung mismo best friend yung yung, yung, yung nag-aakas, yung tahan niya, yung, yung, yung lalaki niya, after the service, Give me a reason. You know what? God has blessed me by the new church. You know what? The next day, the council gave them a call. Sabi sa kanya, Are you still interested with the place? Sabi ng pastor, sabi ng pastor, sabi ng pastor, Yes, I, we were really interested. If you're interested, go to the office right now, pay for it, and I will give you the key for the place. Amen. Now, why are you in place? Because of this miraculous way that God has shown with the lady. Amen. But you know what? Ruin your council man, government that are against the church. But God did something miraculous. Amen. Because of the power of God that lies and cross over beyond authorities. Amen. Kahit na sinabi ng gobyerno, kailangan mo lang umuwi kasi wala ka ng pisa. Kahit na sinabi ng kung sinabi ng abo ay ako hindi na kita pwede yung tanggapin, hindi kita pwede yung kukulisan kasi ikaw lang ang kaya mong gawin sa iyo. You know what? If that is the limitation that man sets you, believe and cross over for what God has promised you. Amen! Anticipate that God will be with well, us. Um, you will escape from the word that was set against you. And that word will be for you.
Say that. Let's watch the video and I hope that you will be able to see God's promise in your life. Amen.